Kayla Kraft is an entrepreneur with a goal to help one million women make more than $1 million a year. And she's well on her way with her Mommy Millionaire podcast, live events, coaching programs, and social media. Self-made millionaire, author and entrepreneur Kayla Kraft was working as an ER nurse when she realized she wanted more. I'm never gonna get ahead financially living like this and I feel so unappreciated, overworked. I have to make a change. In her book, What Do You Really Want? Kayla shares the Take 7 approach to help you transform your life and become the person God intended you to be. All right. Well, we are so excited to have Kayla Kraft live on the 700 Club. Welcome to the program. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, we're so excited to have you. Okay, so let's get into your story. Mm -hmm. So you were an ER nurse for several years, and you actually became an ER nurse pretty young, right? Right, yeah. How old were you? Well, I remember being 13 years old and deciding I okay. wanted to be an ER wow. nurse. So I knew at a very young age yeah. that's what I wanted to do. Absolutely. And so by the time I was 21, I was an, I was an ER nurse. Okay, so yeah. what happened on your lunch break <laughs> that was like honestly life-changing? <laughs> Tell us about that. It's such a funny story because actually my boss wrote me up that day because I was eating a bean burrito at the nurse's station because wow. I was starving. I was pregnant with my second child mm -hmm. and I actually loved that boss like she saw leadership in me and she made me a charge nurse uh -huh. but just getting written up for eating a burrito I was like why am I doing this mm -hmm. you know there has to be more to life than mm -hmm. this for me and I really wanted to figure out a way to be home with my second child right and yeah. have a different just lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started to just be more interested in other opportunities for myself. And I tried some other things out, but I ultimately found network marketing and that really changed my life. Yeah, how did it change your life? I mean, tell us tell us that <laughs> whole journey. So I, I like to share the story that it was on Facebook okay. before, like you remember on Facebook when you had to have a school email address to start it? Like, yes. so it was that long yeah. ago, okay? <laughs> and I have always had the personality of just being very blunt I just kind of tell it like it is. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I was doing on Facebook in the status updates. Mm -hmm. And little did I know I was becoming an influencer at that oh, time. Wow. Yeah. Right. And so when I shared things, people would buy it. And I was sharing about health and wellness supplements mm -hmm. and a lot of people bought it. That's the simplest way to say it. So by the time yeah. I was 26, I found myself a millionaire, wow. first millionaire in my family. Crazy. Wow. I was raised by a single mom, you know, with my dad in jail. Okay. So you know, I beat the statistics, but really like when people ask, you know, how, how did you do it? I'm like, this was totally God's plan because yeah. he always had me in the right place at the right time, mm. you know? And so I know there's probably people listening in right now that think, oh, why do I have to go through this hard stuff? Mm -hmm. But God will always make your mess, his message. Come on. And you know, so yeah. that's really, I remember at 26 going, okay, it's not about the money. It's really about the platform mm -hmm. that God's given me. And so mm -hmm. I just always wanted to shine bright for God. Absolutely, and you definitely are doing that. And in the book, uh, What Do You Really Want? Seven questions that can unlock the answers to a life full of abundance, meaning, and connection. You talk about little me mm -hmm. and how all of us are affected by maybe some childhood traumas, traumas. And what were some of those things that you yourself had to overcome in life? Oh, man. Well, you know, my dad first went to jail when I was six years old. Mm -hmm. So just being abandoned by... The, there's two people in your life that you're supposed to count on, your mom and your dad. So being abandoned by one of them, you know, at such an early age mm -hmm. was very traumatic, you know, because yeah. I'm like, oh, don't, does he not love me enough? I didn't realize at the time that addiction is a disease. Yeah. And so that was really hurtful because I grew up basically always feeling rejected, not just by him, but by everybody. That was my lens, yeah. my view of life. And so uh, it was helpful because in sales, I didn't care when people told me no. I was like, on to the next one. Let's go. Let's sell some more. Yeah. But then when you're you know, almost 30 years old, you're like, okay, like, I don't want to keep going at the same pace. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's when I started to learn about this inner child work. And I always thought it was kind of woo-woo. I was like, okay, yeah. no, is this Christian? You know, like, <laughs> does God want us to do this? Yeah. But really what it helped me do was honor those past versions of myself and have mm -hmm. more like love mm -hmm. and adoration because right. God looks at our sins and he says, sin, like, he, he doesn't remember the sins. Like, mm -hmm. you know, as soon as we ask for forgiveness, those are gone. He doesn't keep bringing it up and up and up. And so uh, I really, really, really just like 
<laughs> uh, decided to love all those past versions of me mm -hmm. and say, okay, God, like I give you all the glory in all of this mm -hmm. and I want to shine as my champion self. I talk about that in the book, yeah. being your champion self. That's how mm -hmm. God designed us to be, yeah. is to show up and really look at ourselves like we were made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. So if we truly believe that we were made in the image of God, every single one of us yeah. would walk around with a little more pep in our step. We would walk into every room and say, how can I make this room better? You know, how can I make every interaction I have with somebody, they felt the Holy Spirit right there, mm -hmm. you know? And so that's what I hope the book does for people is they start yeah. like living on purpose. Like Amen. stop going through the motions, mm -hmm. realize like you're made on a purpose and people go, what's my purpose? And I say, it's to love God with all your heart, yes. right? And so yeah. we move differently when we love God with all yeah. of our heart and to love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. So how are we doing that? You know, like yeah. that we can all be living on purpose every single day. Absolutely. And thank you so much for sharing that because I think a lot of people don't understand that. You know, sometimes our past and the traumas from our childhood, our traumas from our past mm -hmm. can affect the future and it's in, in the present as well. And it's so important to seek out healing. And so I'm so happy that you share that in your book and you're really open about that. But I got to talk about Mommy Millionaire. Okay. <laughs> how did you even develop this podcast? What led you to, to do these programs, podcasts, all the things? Well, I found myself right as a millionaire and I go, well, I'm not happy. I, I was truly like the, mm. I, I wasn't happy, but when I was happiest, I was helping other people. And wow. so I knew I wanted to help people and uh, everybody around me like seemed to become successful after they worked with me and I would coach them through some of their hardships mm -hmm. and their lives. And so I was like, how can I put this into a method that every single person can pick up in a book and start to get what they want in life, yeah. you know? Because if we're made in God's image, we're made to be victorious. Mm -hmm. We're made to win. Christians are made to win and there's too many losing. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, gosh, let's get this take seven in their hands so they can start being victorious. Take seven. So there's seven practices that you talk about in the book. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe what's like one or two. Well, okay. So it's funny. This is step six. What do you really want okay. is actually step six uh -huh. of take seven. But the first question I always start with is what's not working for you in your life? Mm. People are really good at sharing what's not working, but my rule around this is you, if you state the complaint, you've got to be willing to do something yes, about it. Yes, you got to do something. Right? So it's <laughs> like when you go to a restaurant and you order a steak and you go, I want the steak to be well done. Uh -huh. And then you get it and it's medium rare. You're like sending the thing back. <laughs> That's how we should be with our lives. It's wow. like, oh wait, I didn't order this. I need something different. Mm -hmm. So, all right, then we move on to some more practices that are going to start helping you mm. take different actions start networking with different people to start getting what you really want. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, Kayla, I feel like we could talk for hours. We really <laughs> could, but thank you. We just skimmed the surface of your book. I just want to thank you for everything that you're doing, and I'm so excited for this. Yes. And I just want to let everyone know Kayla's book is called What Do You Really Want? And it's available nationwide. Highly recommend you guys get your hands on it. Thank you so much, Kayla. Thank you. Yeah.